Hi everyone, welcome to your new single dumbbell workout series suitable for everyone, particularly if you're over the age of 40 and you want safe and sensible, effective strength training. Today I'm using three different dumbbells, 50 pounds for my heavy, 30 pounds for my medium, and 18 pounds for my light dumbbell. Can I ask you to comment and let me know what weights you're using for your workout? This will help me better prepare workouts for all of you guys in future. Now, let's get started with today's workout. This exercise is a Russian row. I'm doing it from a bent over position, making sure I'm keeping my back flat and keeping my knees soft in order to protect my lower back. Now, I love the biceps engagement in this exercise. I'm lifting the dumbbell to one side and completely passing the center of my chest and working my way to the other side. For the second exercise, we'll remain in that bent over position and work some piston rows. A piston row is much easier than a Russian row. Lift the dumbbell to the center of your chest and try to keep your elbows tucked in by your ribs the whole time. Focus on big range of motion. This is a combination exercise. Start with a neutral press and when you're in that high position, bend your elbows 90 degrees and go into an overhead triceps extension as well. Make sure your lower back is pinned against your bench. Make sure there's no unnecessary swinging of the arms. Using your opposite hand as a guide is always a good idea and keeping your feet parallel at shoulder width will help you with your balance.
This is a traditional biceps concentration curl. Make sure your hips are at 90 degrees so that your support knee is adjacent to your body. You're resting the back of your triceps against your thigh. So it's pushing against it and not resting on top of it. Drop down until your arm is straight. And when you elevate up into the concentration curl, make sure you're getting at least 90 degrees of elbow flexion. Leaning slightly forward at 45 degrees will protect your elbow so that you're not hyperextending your elbow at the bottom of the exercise. This exercise is a concentration hammer curl. Support your active arm by keeping your leg adjacent to your body. Similar to a concentration curl, your elbow doesn't rest on top of your thigh. It pushes against the inside of your thigh instead. This is a fantastic exercise for the lateral head of your biceps. Make sure there's no additional wrist flexion. And by that, I mean there should be no extra wrist movement. You should hold that hammer hand position static throughout the whole curling motion. Little pause at the top is always good because it's extra time under tension and it helps you manage your form as well.
This is a supported triceps extension or skull crusher. Low flat on your bench or even on the floor, making sure your lower back is pinned so there's no arch in your lumbar region whatsoever. The opposite hand is gripping your biceps and this will help maintain the position of your active arm so that your elbow is not going back and forth. Look for 90 degrees elbow flexion. So allow the dumbbell to drop to your ear and then go back up into a soft straight line. Again, making sure that you're utilizing your opposite hand to control your elbow. At the top of the exercise, your active arm should be perfectly vertical. This is a single-sided triceps tape press. You can see I'm creating a 90 degree angle with my elbows, allowing one of the dumbbell heads to drop onto my opposite chest. Then I'm pushing up until I've got a straight arm, making sure that there's no additional movement in my elbow. In other words, you're keeping the upper part of your arm vertical and stationary throughout the entire set. An important form cue is to make sure you keep your wrist straight as well. Don't allow the dumbbell to bully you around. And finally, keep your lower back pinned against your bench or against the floor if you're not using a bench today.
Traditional biceps curl for this exercise. Stand with your feet at shoulder width, your knees are soft straight, your hips are heavy and underneath you, so there's no back and forth motion of your hips whatsoever. Start with your hands neutral at the bottom in that relaxed position and elevate the dumbbell while keeping your elbows tucked in by your ribs. Get that nice 90 degree turn at the top so that you're hitting the short head of your biceps. As always, we wanna keep our elbow as still as we can keep it and we wanna make sure that we keep our torso still as well. Do not use your hips to help you Hit those bicep curls. This is a single dumbbell hammer curl. So you can see what I did. I tucked my elbow by my ribs and I'm allowing the dumbbell to come in front of my thigh, not beside me. This will stop me from cheating and it'll stop me from using momentum to lift the dumbbell. The more precise your movement, the better. Make sure there's no movement in the upper part of your arm so your elbow should remain by your ribs the entire set. Good control on the way up, slow steady release until the head of the dumbbell is resting at the front of your thigh. No swinging of your hips either.
This exercise is a triceps backswing. Similar starting position to a triceps kickback, making sure that your back is remaining nice and flat and making sure your support elbow remains soft. There's no rotation of the torso at all. You're swinging back with a soft straight arm, achieving 90 degrees rotation at your shoulders and making sure your wrist remains straight the whole time. Keep your arm tucked in by your body the whole time. So as you swing up, you're just narrowly missing your hips. Try to exercise ample control both on the way up and the way down as well.
This exercise is a triceps kickback. Lift the dumbbell up until your arm is aligned with your body so that your elbow is resting at your ribs. At this point, there should be a roughly 90 degrees elbow flexion and you're using your opposite hand to maintain your position and to maintain your postural integrity. Extend your arm, keeping your elbows as stationary as you can keep it. This will be the perfect opportunity to really get that triceps flexion. Make sure your back is flat and that you're protecting your lower back the whole time. The elbow in your support arm should remain soft the whole time. This is a dumbbell biceps lift. I'm demonstrating this from the side so you can see what I'm doing. It's a vertical lift of the dumbbell. So your elbow needs to push back in order to lift the dumbbell along your rib line. Make sure your elbow remains tucked in by your ribs and don't let it flare out. You'll get a really good contraction on the biceps, particularly in the short head of your biceps. So it's fantastic for the peak. You can look in front of you or you can look at the dumbbell. As long as your knees remain soft, your hips remain heavy, and there's no swinging back and forth of your torso, then you'll be okay with this one.
This is a dynamic biceps curl and it's one of the hardest variation curls you'll do. So we start the exercise with a basic traditional curl and we turn it at the top so it turns into a reverse dumbbell curl which is much much harder than a traditional curl. The benefit with this exercise is that you're working both the short head and the lateral head one repetition at a time. The trick is to try to keep your elbow static and make sure there's no back and forth motion of your hips. Keep your knees soft straight, keep your feet at shoulder width and do the best you can with this exercise, it's a nice difficult one.
This is a single dumbbell seated skull crusher, making sure there's a 90 degree hinge at your hips between your thigh and your upper body. Hold the two heads of your dumbbell and this will keep the dumbbell stable while it's above you. For the second exercise, we'll use your body weight and work some triceps dips. Your hands are by your side, not particularly wide, nice and close to your hips. As you dip down, your elbows remain behind you. Then push until you're elevated with soft straight elbows. Keep your body close to the bench. Don't push too far forward away from it. Start this combination with rookie push-ups. So these are push-ups on your knees that are a little bit easier than the ones you would typically do. Make sure you've got good range of motion so your push-ups should be nice and deep. And make sure you're controlling your body line from your knee all the way to your shoulders. So we don't want your tailbone pushing out at all any time during this exercise. Your second exercise is a commando plank. So starting in a high plank position, Dropping onto your elbows one at a time, making sure that your tailbone remains tucked in and that your back is protected. And then elevating one arm at a time, going back up into your high plank.
This is a supported biceps curl. Some people call it a preacher curl because it mimics doing biceps on a preacher's bench. But in essence, I'm locking the back of my triceps into the nook of my wrist so that it's forcing me to keep the upper part of my arm static and that I can't cheat throughout this exercise. Look for good range of motion, but when you come down, make sure you keep your elbow soft. The palm of your hands remain facing up the whole time during your set. And it's really important to remain heavy on your hips and make sure there's no swing back and forth anywhere in your upper body. This exercise is a reverse dumbbell curl. So start in that upright position, make sure your knees are soft, make sure your hips are heavy, and make sure there's no movement in your shoulders or in your torso at all. Try to keep your elbows nice and static. The focus is on the lower half of your arm, making sure that your palm's facing down so that you're hitting a reverse curl. You'll get really good flexion in the lateral part of your biceps, but also your forearm extensors as well. At the bottom of the exercise, make sure your elbow remains soft, so don't lock it out. And the eccentric part of the exercise, the way down, should be slow and controlled.
Start this exercise with a Hindu push-up. Your butt should be elevated so that there's a hinge at your hips. Drive your hips down and then straighten your arms out until you're in a cobra pose before hinging your hips again and elevating all the way to the top of the exercise. This may look a little unusual, but it's a fantastic variation of a push-up and very effective. Your second exercise is some pulse push-ups. I'm doing this one at a mid-grip and then making sure I'm putting a little pulse at the bottom of the push-up. Keep a straight body line from your ankle all the way to your shoulders and try to keep your tailbone tucked in as much as possible to protect your lower back. In this moment I can feel it that my life keeps flashing by This emotion creates the notion that there's nothing left to hide and this time I get this feeling That there's no one left behind Our time has come to notice That we crossed the last divide You and me tonight Sing out like a choir, choir Shout into the sky Until Biceps short curls or shorties if you like. This is essentially the top half of a biceps curl. So we're keeping that contraction in place and not giving it a chance to rest or stretch throughout this exercise. The trick is to make sure that your elbows remain static and that you're not using your hips to help you. So there should be no back and forth motion of your hips whatsoever. Keep your knees soft. Keep your shoulders square and keep your wrist straight as well. So your wrist shouldn't be flexing in at the top of the curl. Let's try a set of shorties with your right arm and then the next set on your left. Now it's 
This is a rotating row from that bent over three points position. My feet are spread a little bit wider than shoulder width. My knees and my support elbow are all soft. My back is flat and I'm making sure I'm protecting every aspect of my body throughout this exercise. As I extend my arm down and drop it vertical, I'm turning my palm so that it's facing my legs and then rotating in the opposite direction and putting a little pause at the top getting that extra time under tension at the top of the exercise. When you get to the top of the row, make sure that your elbow is tucked in. Don't allow it to hang out.
Start this combination with a wide push-up. You can see my hands are relatively white. In fact, they're outside of the mat. Keep your elbows flared out as you drop down into the push-up. Make sure you're maintaining a straight body line from your ankle all the way to your shoulder. If you start to feel it in your lower back, it's because you're allowing your back to dip. To counteract this, simply tuck your tailbone in. For the second exercise, we're doing some narrow push-ups. So you can see a completely different hand position well inside of the mat. This will give you a little bit more triceps focus. You've got to make sure that your elbows are tucked in by your ribs this time.
Well done for getting through today's single dumbbell workout. I trust you enjoyed the process and you're pumped and looking forward to the next workout in this series. Now's a great time to cool down with some static stretching. I've left a link at the end of this video for you to cool down and stretch with our physio Daphne. If you haven't already, please remember to comment and let me know what weights you use during your workout. The information you provide will help me understand you and prepare workouts for future. Finally, I want to thank you guys for supporting my work with all the wonderful, inspiring comments and feedback. Thanks again, guys, and see you for another workout really soon.